This event is really about saying to people that are thinking about fostering what the fostering job is like um, and also that fostering can be a lot of fun as well. I think people need to be made aware of what could be out there and what you could uh, be doing to help. So by making people aware about fostering and how people can help, what better way to do it than pro celebrity football? I mean it's a Wandsworth Council organised event obviously as part of Fostering Fortnight um, and you know it's been a wonderful opportunity for people to come together and have a lot of fun as well as getting across an important message about the importance of fostering, the great work that's done by foster parents in the borough. This is a really important event because it's awareness and it's saying to others you know if if I can do it, so can you. Um, events like these, okay, um, for foster care, um, looking after the young people, I think they're brilliant. I think there should be more of them. Um, because like at Chelsea Football Club, we look to work for the young people and give them some positive role models and positive environments to work in. It's to raise awareness of the fantastic work that our present foster carers do and to give them and the youngsters a fun afternoon. But it is also to try and encourage other people to come forward and just find out a little about what foster caring involves. But also that there's always room for more and uh, Wandsworth was looking to try and get another 20 or so extra sort of foster parents a year. We would love, love to recruit a number of carers from different backgrounds, of different age ranges, families with um, rooms that can take the children, got the time, got the space, and preferably, because you don't always have to be experienced or have to have a, a qualification. I suppose one of the main criteria in terms of what we're looking for is that you have that empathy and love to care for children and have the time and the space on your hands to be able to give something back. It's people from every walk of life, every profession, you know, there's people that actually don't work and a lot, you know, obviously a lot of the cases they like to have at least one main carer that doesn't work so you're at home obviously especially if the children are a lot younger. Some people aren't aware that as a single carer you can still apply to become a carer. Of course you can. You know it doesn't have to be long term, it can be short term, it can be respite care. They're all different types of fostering to suit people's different lifestyles so it's a very accessible thing to do. Um, I've been fostering now for five years and um, I have been looking after probably about seven or eight children in that time. I'm what they call a short term foster carer. So that means I can look after children from anything maybe for a couple of nights in an emergency situation and possibly up to two or three years maybe. I've been a foster carer coming up to 26 years. I must have foster over probably 60 children because I'm a, foster, I'm a long term foster carer as well as I'm a short term. Fostering doesn't mean that you've got to take a kid for life. It just means that you might be able to give them a helping hand for two or three weeks. People aren't left isolated, they get good professional support. There's a fantastic support network at Wandsworth. That if I was a foster, if I wanted to encourage people to come in, I would say you're never alone. You have good supervisors and social workers. They provide you with a really excellent training course for you to go on. There's always ongoing training, so you're renewing your skills and developing your skills. We have carers who do like short-term breaks. Um, that's supporting the carers who are doing long-term care. Also, they look after you with things like pampering days. Um, where you're spoiled, you, you get your manicures done, your pedicures done, you can have massages. Um, and then there's something called a foster carers reception that they hold every year, where everybody gets dressed up really nicely and um, the, the foster carers are rewarded. The benefits are just seeing that child change. And um, in my case, it's been for the better. I was asked to say a few words because I was brought up in care, I was a foster child from 6 to 16 and if you're a foster parent here, give yourselves a round of applause, I think you all do a fantastic job. Um, if you're a foster child, reach for the stars, keep your feet on the ground and you can be anything you want to be. Many rewards, not rewards as in the certificates and things, but um, rewarding when you see children achieving things that they thought they could never do or the, the child that you teach to ride a bike, the child that you take down to the sea for the first time. It is very, very challenging and rewarding. We give them a good start in life and we're proud of what we do. But the hard part is when they move on. It's really difficult when they move on. 
it will suit some people, it won't suit others. But unless you ask the question and find out, you're not going to know. So I think if somebody is thinking about it just in the back of their mind, ask the question and find out more. If you have a spare room in your home and you have love in your heart, that sounds so corny, <laughs> I'd say go for it. Don't, don't hesitate anymore. Go and find some information. Ring up Wandsworth. The numbers are all over the place. If you, if you don't know them, you know, go to the local council offices and they'll be able to give you them. Look them up on the internet. Don't think about it anymore. Go along to an information evening and, and, and listen to what's being said. You'll have the opportunity to hear from other foster carers about their experiences. You'll be able to talk to the department about how it actually works in real life. And go for it, go for it. You know, everybody's got to start somewhere and go into an information evening that are held regularly throughout Wandsworth. That's the thing to do first of all. You'll be part of an amazing team doing a wonderful job. Just get in touch with the council. All the details are on the website and then uh, expert uh, people will take it from there and give you plenty of help. I'd just like to say have a fantastic week and uh, enjoy the football.